The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. A box and whisker plot is another way to display data. You'll need to remember what we learned about medians in the last section in order to draw a box and whisker plot. To draw a box and whisker plot, begin by writing the data set from least to greatest. Here, notice that our data set is already written from least to greatest. Next, we find the second quartile, which is the median of the entire data set. Remember that the median is the middle number when the data is written from least to greatest. Since this data is already written from least to greatest, then the middle number or 8, will be the second quartile. Next, we find the first and third quartile, which are the median of the lower half of the data set and the median of the upper half of the data set. Let's start with the first quartile, which is the median of the lower half of the data set. Again, the median will be the middle number so here, the median of the lower half of the data set is 6, which means that the first quartile is 6. Now, let's find the third quartile, or the median for the upper half of the data set. The median will be the middle number, or 9, so the third quartile is 9. Now, notice that the least number in the data set is 2, and the greatest number in the data set is 11. Now we're ready to make our box and whisker plot. First, draw a number line. Then, draw vertical line segments at the first, second, and third quartile. So here, at 6, at 8, and at 9. Then, connect the vertical line segments to create a box. Finally, we connect the least number to to the box with a line segment and the box to the greatest number or 11 with a line segment and these line segments will be the whiskers. So this box and whisker plot represents the data set shown here. 